Hi guys, my name is Beth from Bethany Spiders and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Jumping Spider starter kit from the spider shop. So let's go and check it out. So here we have the Jumping Spider starter kit. When you open it up there should be a smaller box inside. This is what your enclosure is inside just to keep it extra safe. And then we've got some really nice decor items in this starter kit. We've got some of these micro plants that actually stick to the sides or the top of the enclosure. And then some other really interesting decor items that your jumping spider can jump on. The jumping spiders are arboreal, so it's really important that you add lots of sticks, twigs, fake plants, those sorts of things that your jumping spider can jump from and also web up. The good thing about this type of enclosure is that it is front opening. That is really important with jumping spiders because jumping spiders actually like to make their homes at the top of the enclosure. So if you've got an enclosure that opens from the top you're going to be destroying their webbing every single time you take the top off so you really do want to keep them in a front opening enclosure so as you would have just seen we've got absolutely everything that we need to set up for our jumping spiders including that really cute little cocoa brick for the substrate so moving on to the acrylic arboreal enclosure you do have to make it yourself and i am absolutely rubbish at diy and making these sorts of things and even I found it easy so if you've opened this up and realised that you have to make it yourself and you didn't know that in advance don't panic it's really really easy so the first thing you want to do is just remove all of this film that we've got because it is actually a really really clear, crystal clear acrylic so the way that this enclosure fits together, as you can see it's all perfectly cut so that it fits together nicely and then you just secure with rubber bands. This might sound peculiar but it's actually a really really good way to fit the enclosure together because you've got a little bit of movement when you're putting it together so it's a little bit more forgiving. And also. If you're like me and you're not the best at DIY, if you make a mistake as I did and put it together the wrong way, it's not the end of the world because you can just take the elastic bands off and start again. So we've got plenty of ventilation already in this enclosure and then there's two different types of lids. So if you're gonna be keeping a tarantula, we've got a acrylic lid that has got vents in it. But if you're gonna be keeping a mantis or a jumping spider in here then there is a piece of mesh that you can fit as you can see here and then we just got some little screws to fasten it at the top so here we have the enclosure all put together looks really really smart I really like how it says the spider shop down on the substrate guard at the bottom if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to put this enclosure together I will leave a link in the description for another video which shows how to put it together in a bit more detail. So I'm just adding all of the decorative items in now, just playing around seeing which way I like it. And I'm trying to set it up in the best way for the jumping spider so that she can jump from twig to twig. and then just adding that little water dish down at the front. I really like the way that all of these items look together. I love my enclosures to have a naturalistic look and these decor items definitely give it a naturalistic look. And you can see that mesh is crystal clear at the top as well so you can still get a good view of your jumping spider. So now it's time to actually get this jumping spider into the enclosure. So the jumping spider that I'm going to be putting in here today, she is an adult female regal jumping spider. They are Phidippus regius 
and they are so so cute At this point I realised I forgot to put the micro plants in so I quickly gave them a little spray with the spray bottle and then I've just stuck both of them in there. My jumping spider was already exploring the enclosure but she didn't mind too much. And there we go we've added a bit more colour into the enclosure. I love how you can stick them on the sides of the enclosure like that it's really really handy. Now back to the regal jumping spider cuteness because that's what we all really want to see, isn't it? The jumping spiders incredibly cute they're also very very inquisitive and they act in a very different way than tarantulas I would highly recommend these for anyone that's been in the hobby no matter how long and also if you're looking to get over a fear of spiders I would recommend getting yourself a jumping spider because I definitely believe that they will change your perception on spiders guys that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it useful if you've got any further questions about setting up the jumping spider starter kit then either reach out to myself or the spider shop on their social media pages they're on facebook instagram and also tiktok so that's enough from me thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye